Thank you for joining us right here on the night team. Hello everybody, I'm Doug Prophet. The detective behind the search warrant for Brianna Taylor's apartment is at the center of a federal investigation now into what happened surrounding the 26 year olds fatal shooting by police. Claims have been made that Detective Joshua Jaynes lied on the affidavit to get a judge to sign off on the warrants. But tonight we sat down with Jaynes' attorney. Thomas Clay tells the night team's Tyler Emery it was not a lie, but the wording an innocent mistake. This is a search warrant on 3003 Springfield Drive. The address at the heart of March 13th, Brianna Taylor's apartment the night she was killed. The search warrant signed off one day prior by Judge Mary Shaw is under scrutiny. There's little, if any doubt in my mind, there was more than adequate evidence to establish the existence of probable cause for the issuance of that warrant. Attorney Thomas Clay now representing LMPD Detective Joshua Jaynes, the officer who obtained the search warrant and is now facing claims he gave false information on the affidavit. I could have worded a little bit differently in there. Jaynes told LMPD Public Integrity unit investigators he never intended to mislead the judge when he wrote in the search warrant affidavit that Brianna Taylor's ex-boyfriend Jamarcus Glover was receiving packages at her home. Glover was the target of LMPD's drug raid the night Taylor was killed. PIU investigators wrote in their summary the affidavit was misleading. I think it was a good faith mistake. I don't think he didn't need to lie about that. He had so much other evidence to establish probable cause. Clay points to surveillance photos Detective James took at Taylor's apartment, showing Glover leaving with a suspected USPS package. Whether it's USPS, whether it's Amazon, whether it's UPS, there's still reason to believe that packages were being sent to that address. LMPD was repeatedly told there were no suspicious packages delivered to Taylor's home, according to an internal department report. Obviously, this was a screw up. To me, that is an innocent mistake. The PIU recommended James be reviewed for criminal actions, but no charges have been filed. Clay says he welcomes any internal investigation LMPD wants to conduct to determine if James violated department policies. James' attorney also tells me he plans to have a sit down session with federal investigators to go over all of the evidence he has. That evidence, he says, shows why he believes there's no grounds for criminal prosecution of Detective James. James has been on administrative reassignment since June. We're at LMPD tonight for the night team. I'm Tyler Emery.